Hello boys and girls, welcome to lesson 16, which is area and perimeter of 2D shapes. A reminder, a 2D shape is a plane shape. Right, so a 2D shape, they are plane shapes, they have two dimensions, a length and breadth, or they may have a height in the case of a triangle. They have no thickness or depth. Once they have thickness or depth, they become 3D shapes, like a box. So 2D shape will be a square and a 3D shape will be a box. A polygon is a 2D shape that is made up of straight lines like rectangles and triangles. And we're going to focus on the area of a 2D shape and the perimeter. The area is a space occupied by the shape. So if you look at the square, the area of the square is a space within the square. Yeah, it's a space occupied by the square. Your perimeter is the distance around. So your perimeter will be the distance around the shape. This is the perimeter, the distance around the shape. So when you think of perimeter in terms of your yard or fencing a yard, is the distance around the yard that is being fenced, that's your perimeter. This is the distance around the shape and the area is within the shape. So we look at paving a yard or putting, uh, laying bricks on the yard or paving on the yard or tar, we're looking at the area you're covering. Or even in a room, you bring tiles on the floor, that's the area that we're covering. That's the difference between area and perimeter. Now the formula that you have, in a square, the perimeter we said is the distance around. There are four sides here, and all the sides have the same value, so it's four times side. Your area is side times side. I'll give you the formula for area. It's a side times side. So if it's a three, the square is three by three, it'll be three times three, it gives you nine meter squared, depends on the measurement. Now in a rectangle, the perimeter is the distance around. There's a length, there's another length here. This is a breadth and there's another breadth. So it's length plus breadth times two, because there are two lengths and two breadths. Or you can say perimeter is equal to two length plus two breadth. The area is length times breadth. Like you had side times side, this will be length and breadth. There's your area. Now the next shape we're looking at is your triangle. Your triangle can appear in different forms. In this case, your perimeter is the distance around the triangle and your triangle may come in different sizes. So if you add the measurements of the three sides to get your distance around the triangle, that's your perimeter. Your area is half the base times the height. That's the area formula for area of a triangle. It's half of the base times the height. Yeah, there's, you need to determine what the base is and what the height is. There's a height. The height will sit on the base, so this is your base. This side is your base, so half base times height. Now, if you can see your height is here, it's outside the triangle. Height is a perpendicular line. This from the top of your triangle to the base of your triangle. So your height can't be drawn yet. So the highest point in your triangle to the base. So this is your height, which is outside the triangle, times the base, times the base of the triangle. So it's half base times your height. We'll look at the application on the three figures that we have done. I did a square. The perimeter is four times the size. So four times S, which is equal to four times six, which is 24 centimeters. It's given in centimeters. The area formula is side times side. Now all the sides in the square are equal, so they all are six. So side times side means six times six. If this is six, and this will be six as well. So 
So it's six times six, which gives you 36 centimeters squared. Now in this shape here, this is, looks like a rectangle because it cannot be a square because we have eight and we have five, right? So this should be marked as a rectangle. So we'll mark this as a rectangle. It was meant to be a rectangle. These two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. So if this is five, it means that this is five. And if this is eight, it means that this is eight. But for perimeter, it's two times the length plus the breadth. So if you're looking at your length is eight and your breadth is five, so it's two times eight plus five. It's two times eight plus five. It's two times length plus breadth. The length is missing here. It's two times length plus breadth, which is two times eight plus five. Eight plus five is 13, two times 13 is 26. Your area is length times breadth. Your length, eight times your breadth, which is five. So it's eight times five, which is 40. Now your area is in centimeters squared because centimeter times centimeter is centimeter square. Because we're multiplying. Yeah, we're multiplying here as well. Centimeter times centimeter, your area is always in centimeter squared. Remember centimeter? as an index of one, exponent of one, exponent of one. When you're multiplying, you add the exponents, so it's centimeter squared. So that's your square and your rectangle. You need to remember the formula. Simply remember the formula for each of these. Once you remember the formula, you apply the formula using the values given. So this work here is, should be easier to manage. Now let's look at one with the triangle. Your formula for perimeter of triangle is adding the value from all, for all three sides. So it's five plus five, five plus five plus six. There's a value of the three sides, which gives you 16. Now remember again, you need to know your formula. You're adding your three sides. And you're working the area. Area is half base times height. Half base times height. So the base is six. Why? Because the height, there's a height indicated by 90 degrees. The height is falling on six. So that's your height. Then this is your base. So half base, half of six times four, which is 12 centimeters squared. Your area is always in square. Could be centimeter, it could be uh, meters. Yeah, it has not been indicated. We worked with centimeters for the other one, so we're going to assume that it's centimeter for now. If it's not, we say 12 units square. So that's the calculation for the area and perimeter of a square and a rectangle and a triangle. So for application, you will answer application one, you will answer A, B, C and D. The next part of the work, we'll look at the circle and the other shapes that you have. So complete the first four questions, A, B, C and D.